Y'all read the title. You already know some heat's about to be shown. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and I'm back with another Funko Pop video. This video is going to be a top 10 anime Funko Pop battle. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. Battle. Before I get into it, y'all already know what I gotta do. Huge shout out to my returning viewers and subscribers for all the love and the support that y'all show me. I appreciate that and I love y'all. Secondly, if you're a new viewer to the channel, welcome to the channel. I do Funko Pop content, anime content, and Dragon Ball Z content. So if you like stuff like that, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button so you won't forget, and that post notification bell. That way, you know whenever I post a new video. Thirdly, follow your boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections and join my public Discord where you can get alerts for exclusive pops that come out. The links for both of those things will be in the description below. So, Let's get into it. Now I thought to myself, 10 through one, that list is gonna be complicated. Now I have done a one through five before with my homeboy Funko Frenzy over on his channel. We did a live together and we showed our top five anime Funko Pops. If you wanna check that out, the car will be above my head somewhere. But this video is gonna be a little different because we are doing a top 10 anime Funko Pop battle. Therefore, we're pitting both of our lists together. But it's not me and him, it's me and someone else that might look familiar. Guys, I introduce to you, UAM. Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you, Chase, Mr. Dark Sage. I appreciate the introduction. My name is UAM Collectibles or Ultra All Might. You can find me on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, I do a lot of Funko Pop collecting, toy collecting, anime, mystery box battles, you name it. If you like any of that stuff, you should follow me. We do all that every Tuesday and Thursday. So yeah, come check me out. You might like what you see. That's right guys, me and UAM both putting our top 10 anime Funko Pop list against each other. This video is going to be of epic proportions. Don't ask me how to spell that either. Okay guys, I gotta tell y'all, I'm sorry. The catch is, I'm only going to tell you 10 through 6 on this video. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, wait, wait, hold up, let me explain, let, let me run you back in. Now, I'm only going to tell you 10 through 6 on this video, and he's going to give you his 5 through 1 also on this video. But guys, if you want to see my 5 through 1 and his 10 through 6, you gotta go to his channel and check out his video. That way you can see his video and my video, but watch his video after you watch mine, unless you already watched his video, then you came to mine. This is confusing. But enough of that talking guys, UAM, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good, let's go, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's on, remember, I'm gonna tell you my 10 through six on this video. So if you wanna see my five through one, go check out his video on his channel. Now the first pop on my list, number 10 on the list, has to be Naruto doing the Rasengan. This pop I feel like is a slept on pop because yeah, it's Naruto and he's kind of standard, but he's in that little action pose. And y'all know I like my action poses. He's in his little action pose, showing off the Rasengan because that is his signature move within Naruto Shippuden. And this pop was bound to be made by Funko. And I'm just glad that Funko was able to make this pop because honestly, the Naruto line would have been missing something without his Naruto running and his Naruto doing Rasengan. Plus, that's probably the one word that you associate with Naruto the most because it's either that or Kage Bushi no Jutsu. Let's be real. Okay, guys, so y'all might kill me for my number nine, even though it's a pretty big heater if you get my drift number nine is dobby the nycc exclusive from my hero academia and i gotta say i definitely love this pop i love that funko made this pop because man the way his base stand looks with the fire and then the way he has his fire in his hands and then the sculpt of his face oh how beautifully executed this pop was oh my gosh this nycc exclusive is a must-have pop if you're a my hero academia fan or an anime fan because look at the detail between his face where it's like stitched up or whatever like i don't know too much about dobby because i'm not a big dobby fan i know people love dobby which i don't know why but the way this pop looks is super dope especially the way his like uh purple skin is compared to his regular skin like i said i don't know the big details about my hero academia I don't even know his real name or anything like that, but I really love the concept and the look of this Funko Pop, and it's super, super dope. One of the top fives in My Hero Academia alone. Number eight, y'all probably wasn't gonna be expecting this, but I gotta give it to my boy, Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Now, obviously, if you're a true anime fan, you gotta watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and not the regular one, because I heard the regular one sucks. But Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, literally full metal, cause, and he's an alchemist. And I gotta say, I love the detail on this pop, especially where he's performing his alchemy with the electricity around his hands. That is a super dope pop right there. I love the way his pop looks because he is kind of shorter and he has his dope hair like he does in the anime. And with his... And with his Autobahn, Autobahn, male call... 
the, I don't know what the thing is. The metal arm he has. The way it's in that little slicer pose because he usually uses that metal arm to form different weapons within the show to fight with. And I gotta say, Edward, he's a pretty cool character, even though he ain't got no dubs. I know, I know, he probably got a dub at the end of the anime. But if you're really looking at it, and my friend put it into perspective for me, you really ain't got no dubs. But Edward Elric, a super dope pop. I love the anime character. I love his comedic timing within the show as well. And I love his dub voice actor. Because if y'all already watch this channel, y'all already know I'm dub gang. So I got to give it up to my boy Edward Elric, part of one of the goatest animes ever. Y'all's probably waiting for a Dragon Ball Z pop. But now for number seven, y'all getting one. I got to give number seven to Dead Yamcha because this pop, I did not think. Funko would make a dead Yamcha pop. This was a SDCC exclusive, and man, I'm glad that Funko made this because I wouldn't have felt like my Dragon Ball Z collection would be complete without a dead Yamcha. Now let's look at this Yamcha because I love the way that they got this pop laying sideways, and man, it looks just like he did once he got blew up by the Cyberman, and man, Yamcha just gets done so wrong in Dragon Ball Z, but this pop had to be made because it's already such a big meme within the anime community. This pop was bound to get made at some point. I've never done a review of this, but I definitely love the way it looks out of box. I just wish I could have two so that way I could display one and keep one in the box because y'all already know how I rock. Last up on this list, we got number six. That rhymes. Endeavor for number six because, man, if you're telling me that this pop isn't dope, I guess you're a liar, liar. <laughs> Pants on fire. Oh wait, his head's only on fire. My bad. This Endeavor Pop is super dope. I just love the way his head sculpt is with the fire going around it just like he is in the anime because he got them fire kicks and he got that fire fit, literally. But I do love the way that Funko made his face sculpt. I love the way that the fire is engulfing his face and it just looks super dope. I'm just happy to have an Endeavor Pop. He's not my favorite character, but he is a super dope looking character and I can acknowledge when a character has a very great design. But enough of my list. Let's go ahead and go to UAM's top five through one. Thanks, Chase. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so my top five, it was really, really hard narrowing down the top five from 10 through 6, but uh, I think I got it narrowed down, and I think you all are going to vote for me after this because uh, it's a sick lineup. Number five on the list has to go to my buddy uh, Aaron Yeager. The black and white Aaron Yeager, the bait exclusive from uh, Attack on Titan. This is so awesome. If you check out my 10 through six, you see I have something similar to this from the exact same line. I do love intricate pops and intri intricate art, but when it comes down to boom, here's a character, let's make him black and white, I'm just like, okay, I gotta get it. So yeah, the black and white bait exclusive Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan is number five. Now we get to number four. Number four, I recently just had a Full Metal Alchemist full set review, and uh, I, if you watched it, you know that this guy was my favorite in that line, so he had to make the top five because I just love it. It is the, the super glittery GameStop exclusive Alex Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. This thing is superb, okay? So awesome. On closer looks, you can see that he's he's got his gauntlets on and he's flexing and then in the show, every time he flexes, there's like sparkles and glitter and sweat and he's just a big manly dude. Well, they have glitter paint on this thing, right? It's like soft glitter. It's not like the diamond edition of any diamond Hot Topic pop you've ever seen in your life. It's like a faint little glitter paint but it's it's noticeable when you look and sheen and do the sheen test but yes this pop is so underrated it's in my top five i love it so much uh mr alex armstrong and now the top three of the top five yeah this thing you're gonna you're gonna wonder why this isn't my number one because it's it's supposedly my most expensive in the collection but it is the hollow ichigo GameStop exclusive. This guy, it, no one really knows how much it's worth. eBay has it for like 300 plus dollars right now, and uh, the Funko app has it for, I don't know, like 185, and then uh, PPG has it for a different number, and 
people just don't know what they want to pay for this right now. So there's no telling how much this guy's going to be eventually. But uh, if, as you can tell, I have it in uh, Pop Armor, a little hard case from uh, 7 Bucks Pop. Uh, yeah, I had to. You can see how much I paid for it. Someone, some silly people decided to put the price tag on the bottom. I paid 50 for it. But uh, yeah, I love it. This is number three on my list. Awesome show, awesome pop. Okay, on to number two. Number two is also super expensive, and I also have it in a pop armor, and uh, it is from My Hero Academia. It is the San Diego Comic-Con Mask Chaco. Like, this is, it looks like the common, but it, she has her mask on, and it's just really, really cool out of box. Of course, I'm not gonna take it out of the box right now, because I don't wanna accidentally mess it up, and that'll break my heart, but. Really cool. The character translates well into pop form. It, it, it has the cool helmet test on what is considered a cool pop nowadays because everyone's like, oh, does it have a helmet? Does it have glass? Oh, that's cool pop. Well, it has all of that. So, uh, yeah. Number two, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, a Chaco. Number one, <laughs> you guys are going to flip out when you see this because you're going to be like, man, this dude had some heat in his list and then he shows this. It's a common, okay? This is a common, and it's like a $7 common. I'm not even gonna lie. You guys are gonna really, really be super confused on why this is my number one, but uh, when I take it out of the box, I'm gonna take this one out of the box, because I have to. Plus, it's a $7 common. But uh, yeah, a $7 common, compared to all this heat, is my number one. Uh, it is the Half Kakuja Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. This Funko Pop here, is so amazing out of the box. I'm gonna take it out of the box so you guys can see it. But uh, the line is super cool. The anime is one of my favorites. And this pop here is just too cool to be a common. When I first saw it in person, I was like, how is this a common? This should be like a six inch pop ride, basically exclusive to somewhere because uh, this thing's phenomenal. I'm gonna take it out of the box real quick. So yeah, uh, I, I know I've been saying, yeah, I love Simple Pops. This pop right here definitely is not simple. Uh, so I'm kind of backtracking on all the stuff I've been saying. Okay, so I'm not going to explain anything about the show. So you're just going to have to watch it. But check out this thing. Check out his mask. Check out what he's standing on. And it's coming out of his back, right? Look at this. This is an amazing Funko Pop. Look at that. So underhyped, so misvalued. I, I, I just love it. It's it's seven dollars. I suggest you go and pick this up if you're an anime fan. The way Funko Pops have been like trending up in value and stuff, this is a very cool one, I think. So uh, go, probably go pick this up. You probably won't pick this up. Who knows? Who knows what'll happen? I may just made you spend eight dollars to spend eight dollars, but at least you have a really cool Funko Pop to show off. But uh, yeah. This is my number one. I had so much fun doing this, guys. Chase, thank you so much for agreeing to do this with me. Uh, if you wanna see his number five through one, you need to go over to my channel, check it out. Let us know, who had the best top 10? Did I win? I think I won, cause I mean, I just showed you guys some delicious Funko Pops. His stuff is awesome too. So let us know who was a winner and Chase, thank you so much. I'm sending it back to you. All right, I can admit, he came with that heat. But that is it for the video, guys. Let me know what list y'all like the most. Obviously, I know my boy Josh from UAM Collectibles. He has a pretty dope list, and he's a pretty big Anime Funko Pop YouTuber as well. So if you want to see more content on Anime Funko Pops besides me, go ahead and check out his channel over there. He makes dope content, does dope mystery boxes, and he does a lot of figure reviews slash set reviews. But guys, you already know what I do on this channel. If you're new here to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like content like this. And hit that like button if you haven't already. And I gotta say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.